Now I'm hard stuck at 6300 subs, so let's just make this uh, quick and get it out of the way. Like that video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind. And today is another episode of What Do I Know? We'll be talking about the RTX 3050. Now, the RTX 3050 GPU is supposed to launch at January 27th, and uh, the MSRP, the retail MSRP of the cheapest uh, variant of it is $250. It starts at $250, bucks. but boy, is this what it is. On Amazon, I think Japan, Amazon on something like that the rtx 3050 8 gigabyte model it was going for around 450 bucks now let's just say that <laughs> from what it is 450 dollars isn't the highest money uh, you could pay right now i guess it's kind of reasonable or let, let's not say it's reasonable this is like what the beginning of the inflation this is like the cheap, the cheapest thing you could look at i don't know how to explain it but i think it can go upwards from that you know because it went out of stock in just a matter of hours you know what i'm saying now given the benchmarks we are looking at nearly double the performance of the gdx 1650 and when you look at gpus that are nearly double the performance of the gx 1650 you find it falling between an RTX 2060 and an RX 6600. The RX 6600 is priced at around $500 a new rig right now. So that's kind of relatively cheap and it's an 8 gigabyte GPU also. So yeah, I guess if the RTX 3050 in terms of performance is that, I guess it will be pretty good. And it kind of makes sense. Like for example, the RTX 3070 kind of equivalent in performance of the 2080 Ti. The RTX 360 close to performance from the 2070 and the 2070 Super. So it only makes sense to find the 3050 up close in terms of performance to something like an RTX 26. So yeah, the performance seems to be pretty promising for the RTX 3050. At the end of the day, it's an RTX series GPU. So we're supposed to get decent performance. Let's get to the pricing and the expected pricing. How will it be? Now, if we could find this GPU for around $400, the 8 GB GPU, this will be a great bargain for a lot of gamers because GPUs are really expensive right now. But when you look at perspective to what GPUs are priced at right now and what uh, the MSRP was. Let's take, for example, the equivalent GPUs on the performance or, or the competing GPUs. The RX 6600, for example, it was for MSRP $329. At Newegg right now, it goes for $500. So we're looking at $180 bucks difference. Now, actually, compared to the other GPUs, that's actually a very decent price compared to the MSRP. Because when you look at the RTX 3000 series, for example, it's just crazy the way things are. The RTX 3060 is way too overpriced. It goes for around what? 700. These models are 8 gigabyte GPUs. Now, when you compare it to something like the 4 gigabyte GPU, the 4 gigabyte RTX 3050, I mean, 4 gigabyte GPUs are not that appealing for miners, so I'd only guess it will be cheaper than uh, usually the higher VRAM GPUs. The only reason the RX 6600 isn't that overpriced because it's kind of AMD GPU and maybe it's not that good in mining, but I'm not 100% sure. Most pricey 4 gigabyte GPU out right now, the RX 5500 XT and the GDX 1650 Super, and they're both around 300 to 350 bucks. So yeah, since four gigabytes isn't, again, uh, what miners need, the RTX 3050 four gigabyte GPU will be somewhere around $400, somewhere in the sub $400 region. And it will be pretty appealing for a lot of people who do not want to get something like RX 6600 because it's an AMD GPU. As we know, <laughs> the Nvidia GPUs are kind of better in the FPS intensive games like CSGO and so, but it only comes down to how good will it perform because we don't know the difference in performance between the 4 gigabyte and the 8 gigabyte GPU. But in my assumption, if the RTX 3050 4 gigabyte model is faster than something like a GDX 1660 Super, which is for 400 ish dollars right now, and it goes for the same price, I guess it will be a really good bargain. But hopefully, it will be in stock and you can get access to it at any time you want to, really. So, hey, that's been it for the what do I know kind of video on the RTX 3050. Uh, I'm, I'm only feeling good about the RTX 350 4 gigabyte GPU because we haven't seen any 4 gigabyte GPU brand new from Nvidia right now. So, I, I don't know really this. Let's just see how well will this turn out. So, hey, if you like the video, please press on that like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos of that kind and i'll see you in the next one peace